G'day gang, Ed here, and I wanted to talk to you today about Twitter. Um, Twitter, you've probably heard it in the media, you've heard a lot of bunch of celebrities are on it, you've heard about Oprah doing it. I wanted to take a little bit of time in this video to explain literally what it is, why it's important from a marketing perspective, but most importantly, I think, how you should approach it. Because the stats tell us, depending on whose figures you believe, anywhere from 50 to 60% of people who sign up to Twitter don't come back after a month. Which is a shame because it is such an important communication structure. I would go so far as to say, as it is the most important development since email and IRC, internet chat. So, what is it? First, at its most basic, it was developed as a way, like if I was going out, I could say, you know, I'm heading out to watch the Western Bulldogs play football, and others who are my friends say, oh, Ed's going to football, I might come to the football too. And they are able to communicate back. <coughs> no big deal, right? No big deal. Where it got really interesting, of course, was as these groups evolved and people started using it in different ways, it became, instead of just saying, what are you doing now, which is the traditional question of Twitter, what happened was that it became a way of not only letting people know what you're doing, but what you think about certain things. It all of a sudden became interesting if a big news event happened, what people were thinking. It became searchable, so you could literally see uh, what people's thoughts are on particular topics in real time. That's not something that even Google does. So there are all these really interesting things. For us in the 30 day challenge and why we want you guys to have a look at it very specifically is it's the best way for us to be able to let you know the very latest information as it happens. So whenever we do a blog post or we you know, post up a new lesson or whatever it happens to be, our Twitter profiles will let you know, our Twitter accounts, by you following, which is a piece of terminology you'll learn certain, shortly, you'll be able to keep, be kept up to date with the 30 day challenge. That's what's the really super cool thing here. Now, the way I want you to look at using Twitter initially, because it's very, very tempting to go and follow a whole bunch of new people. And I, I think in some ways you're encouraged to do that, which is a massive mistake because you'll have this flood of information and a lot of it not particularly relevant to you and you're thinking, well, this is a waste of time. Why am I doing this? For the purposes of the 30-day challenge <coughs> and particularly if you are new to Twitter, please try not to follow any more than 10 people. I'm going to give you four or five people that you should follow, including myself and Dan and Rob and the 30-day challenge Twitter feed. And there may be a couple of celebrities or people that you're interested in following because uh, your team members inside the 30-day challenge, they might be another good, good set of people to follow. But don't go and follow more than half a dozen to 10 people max. Now, here's the other very important thing. And this, I've got to say, is controversial. Okay, There are other people who will tell you very differently. But if you're doing the 30-day challenge, this is my house. So, we'll do it with my way. And then, once you've got some experience on Twitter, you may choose to go different, down different paths. That's up to you. But the most important thing is if somebody, and it will happen pretty much as soon as you get onto Twitter, if somebody follows you, in no way should you feel compelled, in fact, don't, unless you specifically know the person in real life, follow them back, okay? Because that's where the spam happens, that's where all the problems occur, in my view. Others have a different view, but for the purposes of the 30 day challenge, I want you guys to just follow people you know, and obviously the key 30 day challenge participants. Then once you get your hang of it, then you can add more and more. And after I show you how to sign up for an account in Twitter, that'll be our first video, I'm then gonna show you an amazing tool which will help you manage Twitter. And once you get a good handle on that, then maybe you can handle following more people. But whatever you do, do not get tricked into following 
people because a lot of the pe the requests that you get are from robots and they're from spammers. You do not want to do that, okay? I don't want you to be distracted. I would hate for you to be in that 50 to 60% of people who leave Twitter after less than a month because they just don't see the point of it. Because let me assure you, and we'll show you inside the 30-day challenge, we're just gonna teach you how to use it now. We'll show you inside the 30-day challenge itself, we'll show you how vital, vital, Twitter is. I cannot tell you how important Twitter is to your market understanding efforts, to your market leadership efforts, and to your marketing efforts inside of 30 Day Challenge. It is vital. Did you hear me? Vital. And I, I just do not, for the life of me, want you to miss out on that because you've followed a bunch of people and you get spammed and you get penis enlargement tweets and all sorts of horrid stuff because you didn't listen to using Twitter the way I'm gonna teach you to use Twitter inside the 30 day challenge. So please, just follow along and we'll be great. All right, so with that, let's go to the next video and I'll show you what Twitter is all about. All right, we'll speak soon.